What is going on, guys? It's Taylor. And it's your boy to the Dreezy Dre. It is Halloween season. I came dressed for the occasion, obviously. Mario over here. And then we got what we got a uh, Naruto. Lame. Yeah, I'm doing my <laughs> my thing. Uh we are totally here. We're totally giving a review of Totally Killer. Uh the a movie we were both totally wrong about. Yes. <laughs> totally wrong. Totally wrong, but from what I from what I know, we're totally different on opinions of this video of this movie. Oh, do we have um, oh do we? Do yeah, we? Very oh, much so. And also I have some wrong? Easter eggs I found on there and some throwbacks I want to talk about. Okay, I'm just gonna start it off at the go very top. I you thought this movie was terrible. Really? <laughs> okay, no, let's go ahead. Go ahead. So bad. I, and, and What's ma- what's make me angry about it being so bad? We were all in. We were all in on this movie. It's like, oh, this is gonna be. I'm still on it. Fun. But um, I, I was like, okay, this is gonna be a great movie, great time. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a little silly, fun killer comedy. Yeah. By the end of it, I was like, God, that's it. It had potential. Okay. I I, I will give it. It had the potential, and then it, and then it was like totally squandered. All. What of didn't it. you like about it? Um, I mean, do you want me to start at the very? Uh, go ahead. No, 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 no. Before I get into it, because I can get what? into it. Let's see what you thought. I really liked it a lot. So I, so one thing about me, I'm a big '80s fan. Music, '80s movies. I'm all about '80s. That's just me. That's when, I, when I grew up, um, it's mostly I grew up, I guess, uh, formal years, teenage years in the '90s. But my sister it grew up, uh, was born, um, and her teenage years were the '80s. So I was kind of through her. I was inducted into the '80s. So music, movies, I guess I mentioned, all I heard growing up was that, so I kind of got into that as well, and throughout the years, I really appreciated that, and really loved 80s music and movies. Um, so, everything here, I, I liked. Granted, the 80s were a small part of this movie. Granted, they're, they, it takes place in the 80s, but it's not it's not really it's not really thrown into your face, 80s. Um, besides besides style, the story itself could be taking place anytime, really. Because they're going back to the 90s, they would have changed the music a little bit, changed the, hair, the, the clothing style, it would have the same movie. Um, and maybe some technology kind of verbiage would have changed as well, but it was it, it was a regular movie. Um, they did throw a lot of, um, of references to Back to the Future and other movie horror m- movies that they played that they actually not took inspir- inspiration to, from, but they did play pay homage to in the movie. It'll be really Easter eggs. I'll tell you in a moment about those, um, and also the movies that were uh, actresses and actors in uh, a movie in the movies from the eighties that were mentioned. I liked it. It seemed it was a very straightforward story. It was there was it didn't try to be too silly at all. You had to take you have to take into effect like oh time machine and kind of got that part, but also they managed back to feature a lot. So there was time machine talking there. So it had to be some kind of time machine uh, happening. Um, there, granted, things had to kind of happen pretty quickly and pretty easily. It kind of like you kind of got to assume the point um, stuff was happening in the past and ha- stuff happening in the future that kind of went it coincided with each other but you also kind of take take into fact that like, the future stuff has to happen you can't always focus on one on one era this is it'd be too long of a movie so you have to take into consideration like oh yeah they're making progress in the future and so on so on and so on and also characters who aren't in scene because the main story is happening they're also making progress as well in their story that may not be told or touched upon but they're making progress as well um, I had fun with it. I watched it this morning. I, I we were completely wrong about the killer. I thought <laughs> both of our ideas were were good. The one they went with, um, I mean, again, to pay it paid pay homage to other uh, movies. But yeah, I I I, would, I thought I thought our our, right, our ending. Now let me get let, now let me dig into this. First of all, the moody the movie was eighties only in name. It was like if you went to an eighties Halloween party, mm-hmm. that's what it was like. Yeah, they barely. They barely put on like an eighties facade. Outside of that, if you didn't, t- if I just woke up in the middle of movies and you said, "Oh, they're in the eighties," it's like, wait, what? I mean, they kind of act like they're in the eighties. Mm-hmm. That's about it. They took like a, a stereotype, stereotypical archetype millennial character and just mm-hmm. threw them in the eighties and just had them comment like, "Oh, is this uh, is this green friendly or uh, is this recyclable?" Like this. Very stereotype. Like, uh, do you guys have auto- avocado toast? Just that whole thing. Is there Starbucks around here? Just like. That very stereotype '80s character, or sorry, millennial character thrown into the '80s, it, it got old. Uh, that was one of them. I thought the plot was very st- <laughs> kind of silly. Like they had like this regular high school, regular town. Oh, by the way, my friend built a time machine. It's like okay, <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I built a time machine at the fair because I was bored, uh, and you know, not a big deal. It's like, hey, where did that come from? It didn't imply that she was even that smart, let alone 
why she was building a time machine. I did like the cast. Uh, I I will say I like the cast of the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, the the final killer. I guess we're going spoilers, right? The final killers, killer yeah. being killers. The, okay, the final kill. No, just killer. The final the 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 There's... total killer. The what was it called? The six sweet sixteen killer. Yeah, the sweet sixteen killer to be revealed to be the principal. It was like the worst plot as, point. As a kid. As a kid, not the, yeah. the, an adult. It was like, wait, what? <laughs> Why would but then, he... But then there was a second killer, too. There were two killers. No, but he wasn't the killer. He killed after. He was yeah. trying to... No, he, so there's yeah. a second killer, yeah. Yeah. But he wasn't the Sweet 16 killer. Yeah. He So he didn't exist as a Sweet 16 until the end of the movie. So it wasn't like he was part of the original series of He did. He did kill her mom, though, in the beginning. Oh, that's what he did? He did. He said, that's why I killed your mom. I, I, oh. I keep it going. So there's two killers. Oh, I didn't even realize that. So he told cuz so he wanted to keep his business going and the way his business was going would re to re kind of bring oh, back Oh, I was so confused. The 16 I... killers and then that's what that would bring his business business back in his tour his tour guide um business that would reinvigorate that to get more business. The podcasters the villain the podcast, yeah, yeah, more podcasting. No, um I, even you telling me that makes some sense, I feel still I and that makes some sense to the plot. But I still think it's just the, I think the whole dude, the black dude being the killer, was such a weak plot point. I do think I thought it was interesting that they had killed him. I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Know, they, well, they fixed the problem, but then like another killer showed up. Which it, it, it being a podcast, dude. I don't know. At, at that point, mm-hmm. once it was the black dude was the killer. To me, you lost the plot. The the whole reason why we were here. This saw this grand mystery of who killed my mom 16 years ago. It was like this character that you barely recognize. No one knew. And then it, it, and it related to a character. I don't even remember what they introduced. It kept saying Fat Trish. So, yeah, Fat Trish. You never saw, you never, you never saw yeah. Fat Trish. She was a kind of just a, a, yeah. a, a character. She was like a MacGuffin at this point. Like, she yeah. was never, she was only mentioned in name. You only mentioned, you, you, you don't and, see her ever. Yeah, she, there, was, there were stories of her driving, uh, getting killed in driving, drunk driving accident. Yeah. Um, he she was Lurch's sister or the teen Lurch as you call Lurch the, yeah. the guy who does the janitor stuff, um, but yeah, that that's what was that happening? No, and it was just like it was it was it was a weak revenge. Um, yeah, very yeah. weak. And then like he he kind of like apologizes to her in a, the present, but it's not even implied that he really knows her that well. So that him that guy being the killer. They even have to show you to you like, oh, he's the killer, and then they have to show the old version. Like, oh, is that? I didn't even realize that it was that guy. <laughs> yeah. So I thought it was such a weak plot. The plot where the second plot, the secondary plot where the guy was trying to revive the whole Sweet Sixteen killer, that makes mm-hmm. some sense. Like he's trying to keep it going, but then him jumping back into the past and kill it. That it, and then okay, so then so let's say you pass that light right, and she okay. manages to kill him, and then you get to the the present, and they're like. Oh, all of these things have been changed, and it's like, well, then if all those things are changed, that implies that you changed the past. That would also imply that your mom should recognize you, because <laughs> you, because the, the friend recognized her, right? Yeah. That they yeah. that they grew it up, and she she gave her the yearbook of all the changes. And and again, this is if I may. I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. Oh, yeah. I, I, so, a more Back to the Future. You why it, he, uh his mom didn't recognize him when he was when he went back in time because he was the exact same Martin McFly. Yeah, you say exact same person. You would recognize him when he went back, right? She never the father or her, the mother never recognized uh, uh, Martin McFly as her son because like oh he looked just like the guy in the past but, that helped us out. But also but also Doc uh, Doc Brown built a time machine out of DeLorean out of a car in the garage without no me knowing. But he was a genius. And not to, like you're 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 talking down to this poor girl who no no no, like, no. he was like his character was I'm a genius check out my house I build all this shit yeah and then I built a time machine and well she and top yeah. it off he had to steal plutonium, plutonium. <laughs> like some super he had, to, he had to buy plutonium yeah. from the Russian like, whatever I, I took the parts that were around my house and put yeah. them together and built a time machine okay that was eighties twenty twenty three yeah, okay. different 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 technology now <laughs> like things if, happen if that character. Was hey, I'm super smart. Yeah, this is what I do. And like, hey, check out these inventions I built. And like, she has like this flying drone around. Yeah, and like this walking robot. Oh, now that she built a time machine, doesn't seem so far fetched. But they also, hey they guys, also... on my free time, I built a time machine while watching TikTok videos. No, you don't just <laughs> have a time machine lying around. Again, no. this this movie is was... yeah, you kind of you kind of get it. You just go with it. It's fun. Yeah. I thought the plot was it was a thin, a very thin. That only works if you just go with it, okay? Yeah. It's more like, sure, okay. 
Like if yeah, if you yeah, if you're just like okay, I get it. All right, that's fun. It's, if you're, it's one of those movies that if you were drunk, stoned, or with like a bunch of friends just being silly about it, it'd be a fun movie. Yeah. If you're just sitting down, if you're watching it for like, if you're to, analyzing it, yeah, not even say analyze. If you're just watching it regularly, yeah. <laughs> then it's like okay. If you're putting, if you put thought to it, yeah, then it's like okay, this is a very kind of stupid plot. Mm-hmm. I, I think the plot we came up with. Was yeah, for the, for a better the, plot for the movie, and they still could have had fun with it yeah. than the actual movie. Okay. And so, to me, and there is actually, I, I if we ever do our podcast, um, I hope so. Yeah, I, I was gonna like have a whole segment just about this movie, right? Okay. But I'll, I'll say it right now, they, they could have the whole time travel thing. They could have implied it was the crystal. When the killer comes, he comes to stab her, and he he breaks the crystal, and then that's the triggering event that pulls him into the past or something like that right okay to fix the wrong that happened back that would have been a better plot than i built a time machine at the fair i just want to touch on some easter eggs and, and inspirations here so a couple things first and foremost back to the future is it, it, it was mentioned numerous times in there and kind of that was the same product i meant as i mentioned like the the mother doesn't remember the daughter martin mcfly's mother didn't remember him or the father didn't remember him or the father didn't remember her either you know from when do we when like 25 years ago um, let's see. Also, it was hinted in, in the beginning. I'm like, oh, there's two killers. You know, when she kicks the killer out the door, then the one the one comes to the back the back of the the back of the house. I thought, I'm like, oh, there's two killers. Like Scream. Scream's mentioned m- numerous times in here. Kind of they mm-hmm. they they mentioned Scream in there. Scream has two has two killers in it. Um, just like this movie did it had two killers in it. Uh, Molly Ringwald, the the Mollies. Molly Ringwald, big 80s actress in Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. The um, well. Hughes, John Hughes, corrected Breakfast Club. Her last name is Hughes in the in the show. Mm. Um, Vernon, Vernon High School, which is the principal of Vernon from Breakfast Club as well. Principal Vernon, that's kind of way to take that apart. Um, it's a, it's a it's a it's a stretch, but the uh, Lurch character, his van, um, not the van itself, but the side is the big uh, cobra on it, like Cobra Kai, kind of from the eighties. <laughs> um, the where when she's walking um towards the beginning of the movie when she's when she's in the past but she's no she's still in the in the current day but she's walking home yeah she, no no i think she's walking home but it's it's a it's a long shot of like down the street and it's her in the very background you see nobody but she turns around and she and the killer's behind her very halloweenish halloween michael myers just... michael, michael myers that was that was inspiration to trade for michael myers um i couldn't really, I, and I was looking around like there's some there's thing. Uh, they obviously the the dumb police officers who don't want to take enemies seriously until things are actually happening, and even then they don't want to take like they're they're giving clues and giving evidence of things happening. They don't really. That's just like a, like a trope of these horror movies where the police don't believe all the kids. These are just dumb kids. They don't know anything. Um, uh, yeah, I think that that's that's what I've I've gathered so far as far as Easter eggs that I I stood out to me. Um. Let us know. Let us know if you find any Easter eggs. If you, if you think East in the eighties, <laughs> what 80, do you in the 80s. think of the show? Totally yeah. killer. Um, I looked online. I always look online to get the, like the temperature. Uh-huh. I always weed through all the people who say it's woke or all that stuff, and, yeah. and then can filter those people out. But then I get the good temperature. A lot of people really like this movie. They just say say it's a fun movie. Uh, yeah. That's like the gist of the the fun Halloween uh, spooky time oh. season. And Sweet Sixteen. Sweet Sixteen, Sweet 16 is a Molly Ringwald movie. It's eighties movie. Mm. Sweet Sixteen. If you jo- enjoyed it, that's all you. Tell us what you thought in the comments below. And when you hit the chance, if you have a chance, hit that like and subscribe. It really helps with the channel. Tuesday, Thursdays, we got the trailers. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, blah, blah, blah. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Everything else. Game yep. reviews, chat talks, pop culture reviews. Um, TV show, movie TV reviews. TV show, and movie reviews. So we're here. And uh, games. Games. Games of Dre. <laughs> so it's spooky season, October. Uh... Happy Halloween, and we'll catch you next time. All right, guys. See you later. Peace.